welcome to Second Tech, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Gauteng Finance MEC Barbara Creasy on Tuesday delivered the province's budget for 2017-2018. Natasha Urendal discusses the highlights of the provincial budget. Hi Natasha. Hi. The provincial government has set aside 44.4 billion rand for infrastructure spend over the next three years. What are some of the key highlights of that allocation? Well, what I found interesting about this year's budget is that 44 billion has actually been split this year. The provincial government decided to take a different approach and take, I think it's just over 30, well, just under 32 billion to the departments within Gauteng provincial government um, baseline. And then another 12 billion that is going to go into something that they called a reserve finance asset. Now, the allocations that have been put pu put forth through to the departmental baselines those will be allocated to projects that are actually shovel ready um, so there's no real further reviews or feasibilities that still have to you know uh, be done it can actually just get going and get started and that's it the 12 billion that has been reinvented into the asset financing reserve will actually go will be held for projects that are still viable um, but not quite ready to go. And the department, um, the Gauteng Provincial Government, actually says that any departments who wish to access funds in this reserve will need to bid for, for, for those funds. So it's, it's sort of like a performance incentive. Get the projects ready, you'll get the money. Um, in addition to that, um, MEC Creasy also suggested that the infrastructure department's um, legacy projects, if you will, could also be funded from that um, reserve. The budget also unpacks plans for the five corridors within Gauteng. Can you give us an idea of those plans? Well, yes, um, individually, the uh, Gauteng Treasury has allocated for the Eastern Development Corridor, um, for example, 1.5 billion. The Central Development Corridor, um, they've allocated 2.8 billion. In the Northern Corridor, uh, they have got 1.9 billion. And in the Southern and Western Corridor, they've each got 1.3 billion. Now, each corridor has more or less the same priorities, um, but they're, they're allocating it a lot to housing development, um, social development, and roads in some cases in the Eastern Corridor. Um, the Central Development Corridor will have a big focus on hospitals um, with the construction of new hospitals and revamping old hospitals so there's a lot of health focus in that corridor um, looking at the eastern corridor for instance education and health come up as key projects or should i say education and health have key projects that is the focus of that corridor's budget looking at the northern corridor as well the um, human settlements mega projects that are currently underway the um, department is actually hoping to push through this year, um, so a lot of funding will go towards those. And then just looking in at the Western Corridor as well, I mean, one um, area comes up with sports, arts, culture and recreational projects. That also becomes a key focus for that corridor. And the Southern Corridor is actually pro um, prioritizing housing mega projects for human settlements. What are some of the other key spending areas? Well, for this financial year, the budget actually has given the bulk of the funds or bulk of the budget to health and education. A lot of the uh, budgets, I mean, we're talking about 40 b around 40 billion each for this year alone, has been allocated to try and pursue more projects within those sectors. I mean, they've, they've come up as priorities. They need urgent attention or little projects in there need urgent attention in the, um, in the province. So with health and education a key priority for the department or for the provincial government, um, the 40.8 billion that's been allocated to the education department, Gauteng's education department, is going to see a transport for learners uh, living further than five kilometers from schools, trying to help um, get them there. The uh, teacher development and support initiatives are going to get whew, over 500 million this year to do just make sure that everything is equipped over there for textbooks um, stationery, school furniture any learner support initiatives will also get quite a big chunk of that budget and then looking at the continued rollout of e-learning initiatives I mean the strategy that the provincial government has in place quite a bit of funding is going to go towards that this year then looking at health um, they've been allocated 40.2 billion this year 
and a lot of that is going to be to try and enhance service delivery within the district hospitals, for example. Emergency medical services are going to get quite a chunk, um, as well as central hospitals and support and initiative for HIV and AIDS and TB initiatives. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.